with a little bit of extra, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. In this video, I'm going to show you my full retouching workflow using an extraordinary skin texture retaining, zero facial deforming, frequency separation action. And on top of that, I'm going to show you my touch and bone method, my skin tone correction and grading method. I'll show you everything from start to finish where we sharpen the image. You can see that there's a lot of layers that have been created here. But don't worry, this video is going to be short because we are going to be using actions. Actions that have been well calculated, created by professionals right in studio. So we no further ado, let's get started. Link in the description to get the free file to follow along. So the first action we are going to play is Islami Smart Retouch. For this image, I'm going to use the radius of 15. For headshot, I use between 15 and 30. 15 for the one that is not too sharp and 30 for the image that is very, very sharp. If you are beginning, start with the radius of 15 for headshot. 10 for full body shot. Now click on OK and wait for the action to do its magic. You won't believe that this action that I just played have retouched the skin texture, even it out. I'll show you. Open this group and then come down here. You see that this layer is maxed out. That's why you're seeing this black layer max here. Now take your brush, make sure your foreground is white. Your flow should be as high as 40. And then increase your brush size using the bracket key or coming up here to increase the brush size. Bracket open or close key to adjust. And then you move over the skin to review this effect. There's no technique to this. What we are doing is revealing the marks. That's exactly what we are doing. So you move over the skin. If you notice something, we did not even get to remove the pimple on her skin because this action will automatically do that for us. I'm very sure you've never come across this kind of action before. And this is a sign that your retouching game is going to level up immediately after this video. So keep watching. Once you are satisfied with uh, removing or revealing these marks, we take a look at it before and after. This was the before, this is the after. Let's zoom in so that you see it more clearly. This was the before, this is the stage we currently are. So it fits on screen. Now on this layer one, you take your elliptical marking tool, make a rough selection on the skin there's no technique to this. this is very intuitive you are just making a selection on the skin avoiding the lips and avoiding uh, joints like this point here just simple stuff like that and you right click feeder should be radius of 20 click on ok now go to filter blow gaussian blow and set the radius to 60. now click on ok Let's take a look at the before and after once more. This was the before. This is the after. We're going to do this for every other part of the image. I'm not going to fast forward this particular tutorial so that I don't feel like you missed out on anything. This time you're not going to go to the filter again. If you right click, you see the Gaussian blow here. So just click on it. And the last value we applied, which was 60, will be applied on the image. So you're going to do this for every other part of the image. This particular action is super beginner friendly. It'll take you about 30 minutes to one hour to master this and begin to retouch and make money from your photo editing skills. 
So we're going to do this for every other part of the <coughs> image. I see now that there's no more pimples on our skin. You come to the neck area and do the same thing. This is the easiest retouching workflow out there. Any other one can easily deform yours. Model, face, remover, expression, and all that. But this does not do any of that. Just take a look at the before and after. This was the before. This is the after. When you are satisfied with the result, you now go on to the next stage, which is dodging and burning. Dodging and burning will make your image look more three-dimensional to pop your image, make it more better looking, make it more attractive. So simply come down to dodge and burn cups, which is the most popular way of dodging and burning. Click on it. I'll show you a step further you can take in dodging and burning to make it more even easier. Just watch me do this. The dodge is for brightening the skin. The burn is for darkening the skin. So turn off the dodge while on the burn. Take your brush. Make sure the flow is three this time. Click on OK. Then turn off the smart retouch layer to bring up the uh, original layer on retouch layer so that we know exactly where it was originally dark and then improve on it. So you paint over this area while holding down your left mouse button, you paint over this area. You paint over the makeup to make it more pronounced. You can see exactly what I'm doing. Then the contours, paint over the contours right here and also right here and maybe around the side a little bit this area and this area there's no hard thoughts here just exactly where you see that it's already dark you make it darker and you turn on the dodge make sure you're on the black layer and make sure your foreground is white if it's not white if it's in another color other than white and black you click on this small icon here let me change it and show you just click here and it becomes white you toggle between white and black but now you make sure it's white take your brush and then paint over where you want to review the dodge effect under our eyes a particular place you are supposed to brighten to make her look more beautiful On the top of our nose here. And also this highlight down here. And also right here under our neck. You can see we are not zooming in to do this because it's not micro dodge and bond. This is macro dodge and bond, which is easier to use after frequency separation. So now we bring up the smart retouch i see exactly where it has been born and it has been dodged but you can see that this thing is so abrupt like it's not even i'll show you how to even it out come to your property make sure you're on the layer max not on the layer layer max set the federal value to 60. come now to the bone and do the same thing 60. This was the before, this is the after. Magica. I know you've never seen most of this technique before. So like this video right now and subscribe to this channel because we are focused here on making retouching easy and fast so that I can make more money while retouching more images within a shorter period of time. So after this, we go on to the next stage where we add a color lookup table so come and create a color lookup table adjustment go and load your lot i actually give a free lot on this channel the name of the video is glow and glamour lot i'll use that particular lot to show you how effective my free lots are and imagine the one you pay a little token for him just ten dollars or thereabout so load this lot reduce your opacity to 40 this was the before, this is the after. 
This was the before, this is the after. What next can we do for this image? We are going to enrich the skin tone using this enrich skin tone action. So click on it, take your brush and paint over the skin. Increase the flow to make everything faster. So go on and remove or review this effect or remove the marks from the skin area. And you can see that you have to like remove this effect from the eye. So make sure your foreground is black and then remove this effect from the eye. You can see how it's been maxed out or where it's been maxed in. You click on the backslash and you see that the area that is red is the area that has been maxed out and the area that is white is the area that has been reviewed. I can easily help you to see where to max and where to unmax. So you can see how rich and coding our skin tone is right now. I use this for most of my images. Uh, you have to just reduce the opacity, obviously. You reduce the opacity. Let's say we leave this at uh, 40 or 50. This was the before, this is the after. The next thing we are going to do is to whiten her eyes and her teeth using these actions here. So play all these actions and then on the teeth, whiten the teeth. You already know that your foreground should be white. Then the same thing for the eye. You add this blue color to the eye and reduce your opacity to like 20 or 15. And then you hold out and move that adjustment layer to the whiten eyes to also whiten the eye. And you also reduce your opacity. So about 20. So this was the before. This is stage three. Currently, yeah. So you hold Control Shift Alternate E to create a layer that is a stamp visible layer, and then come and play the sharpen action to automatically sharpen your image. Wow. Let's zoom in. This was the before, this is the after. So as the before sharpening, this is the after sharpening. This was the before sharpening, this is the after sharpening. You can max out this from any area you don't want it. But let's just leave it like this for this tutorial. The other thing I did was to like use close time tool to fix our hair. I think that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. This tutorial is already long and there's no need for those unnecessary ones. If you want to see exactly how I do that, let me know in the comment section. Check the description to see how to remove background. Already made a video on that. So we just went on to remove the background. You can see that these two images are looking very similar. Remove the background and change the background color to pop the skin tone and fix our hair using close down tone. And that was it. So this was the general before and this is the after. Check the link in the description to all resourceful actions, lots and presets needed. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.